campus and just, you know, seeing what the D1 life is like this past couple uh, of months? I always know, like, I wanted, like, to live this type of life, but other than that, like, um, I've been adapting to playing Division One. You got a question, Zane? Uh, I was just listening. Yes, I got a question. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey. hey. So, um, what do you think about your team at Hurston Miller? Explain his game. What's his game like to you? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I, heard, I also heard that you played him in 2K last year. This 2K23. How that? How that game go? Actually, I have a question too. Huh? I have a question too. All right. Who the best 2K player on the team? Um, by far, it's probably me. <laughs> As no. All I know. Probably me. Who's the best 2K player on the team? It's probably me. Who's close second? Uh, it depends on what game mode you're talking about. What team are you running with on there? Lakers. Okay. Oh, man. You're just going to get the best player in the league? LeBron James. Yeah, that's my favorite player. Okay. How much do you feel like you've grown as a player uh, working with Kenny and his staff so far? Um, I've grown, like... Like a lot because it's like he puts us to the limits that we thought we couldn't reach basically and when we tired yeah. he expect more. He don't expect us to be good when we fresh. Everybody good when they fresh. He said he wanted to see what we could do when we dead tired and I never had nobody like coach me like that way. What about uh, the guys from last year's team when you come in help make you feel make you feel um feel more comfortable here and just to them pushing you? I uh, um so since I'm like one of the later guys got here, I ain't know too much. So like, and they basically like walk me through the stuff that I need to know, man. They basically told me how how it was for them last year and stuff like that. So it's like it motivates us to want to go hard and win and stuff like that because of, they tell me how like they've been treated last year and how it was rough and stuff like that. So like they told me the rough parts and the good parts of when they've been here and stuff yeah. like that. What was one of the rough parts they mentioned? Uh, last year. Yeah, just everything in general? Yeah, everything last year and stuff. So it's like, uh, we basically, they say it's a better coach. I don't know how the coach was last year, but they feel like it's better now and there's more chemistry on the team, man. Yeah. We click more than they did last year. Yeah. I appreciate it, man. Good luck this season. Thank you. Nice to see you. You too. Tony, KY Sports TV. Come on. I was, I was curious about you know, how, how you've, I guess, gotten acclimated into the city itself and, and what the fans have, have given you feedback as far as being here. Uh, I really haven't really got no feedback. I really haven't talked to too many people, but... Uh, wait, say that a question again? I guess about the fans. You know, how have the fans, I guess, welcomed you here? And, and I guess how... How I, the city itself, you know, are you getting used uh, to I feel city? welcome among these people, but other than, like, fans, it was rough. Me coming here and, like, the fans and stuff because of, they expected, like, five-star players. I was never, like, one of them star players. I was basically always underneath the radar, so it's like they didn't know too much about me. So, like, it was mostly, like, they didn't know too much about me, so they were talking about stuff they didn't really know. So for those who don't know much about you, what what can you say about the type of player that you are? Uh, I'm a I'm a talented scorer. Uh, uh, I'm a bigger size guard, and I feel like what else? I can bring a lot to the team, as in like rebounding, defending, uh, leading, and stuff like that. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I was off to a good game when we played them. Like, uh, I ended up getting hurt, but if I didn't get hurt, they was in trouble. So wait, so I can go back and watch? Do they have? Yeah, you can go back and watch it. Do you remember what episode that was? I know they didn't have Netflix last year. Like, they didn't have okay, Netflix. okay, I got you. I got you. Yeah, I was off to a game, finna have thirty. <laughs> that's that's what it was looking like. Yeah. Then I ended up catching cramps in my legs and stuff, so like I wasn't able to play as much as I usually do. I, Cause I usually play forty minutes. Yeah. What do you feel like your role is going to be? Uh, I don't really know too much. Yeah, it's still being determined. I don't really know what my role is because I'm playing with much better players and. Um, like where I come, where I came from, I was the best player. So my ball, my goal, I mean, my job was to put the ball in a bucket and um, basically carry my team. What is it like competition-wise in practice? 
Uh, it's hard because uh, we know that you got to fight for your spots every day. You can't take your foot off the gas and stuff like that because of knowing that it's better players. Um, you could be replaced like in the lineup, basically. So we basically got to go hard every day. Well, if we don't, we run. So it's like no option. How would you describe playing for Coach Payne? Um, it's hard, but I know eventually it's going to pay off because of, um, he puts us to limits that we thought like we couldn't get to, basically. So uh, it's hard, but um, practice is always supposed to be harder than the game. Where, uh, where else are you considering besides here? Uh, I don't know. This was just I, the offer that, yeah, know, this the offer that like I'm like that them. made me feel like it's close to home. Like this is where I want to go. It's easy for my family members to just hop on the road and come down here. Who's the primary recruiting? Which coach? Um, was, was well, KP coach, the uh, Kenny Payne recruiting. Okay. Yeah. All right. And, and how long had, had he seen you in high school? Too? Um, I don't know. Like, nobody really knew too much about me. Like he didn't. I don't even think he told anybody about that he was recruiting me, really. Did you play on a, like an EYBL team or something? I played on Indy Heat for a little. Who, who else was on that team? Uh, I don't. That I might have heard, you know. That, that I don't. I don't. I only played like two tournaments. I don't really okay. remember. But um, I played for this Adidas Gauntlet team called Reach out of Detroit. Reach Legends. It, uh, it, how much is, how much are you motivated by you know making people know your name? Uh, I'm very motivated because a lot of people think um, I don't deserve to be here just because I'm not one of them highly ranked kids and stuff like that. But it basically just like something to prove. Like I got something to prove basically. And from where I come from, it's not a lot of kids like that make it Division One basketball. So I'm basically playing for myself and them basically. To show them that it's more hope like than me. Hello, Jalen Washington. Yeah.